Good girl, Henrietta Pussycat. Are you ready for another story? Well, hi. Well, uh, welcome to Stories with Henrietta Pussycat. Thanks for coming back. Oh, Henrietta wants a new toy. Tonight, we're going to read Simon's book by Enrique Drescher. Um, I was looking through this book and the art in it is amazing. It's beautiful. And I think sometimes about the drawings that I've done and the paintings. I haven't done anything recently, but when I look at this, it makes me think of how fun it is to paint with all different colors. Kind of makes me think about the book we read yesterday, which was Elmer. Super colorful, but these are more primary colors. And this is like a mix of lighter colors. Look at that. Come on. So beautiful. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe we're going to find out in the story. But this is a calligraphy pen. You see that? It's making some calligraphy squiggles there. And there's some ink that has some eyeballs. Oh my goodness. I'm going to assume that's Simon, but we'll find out. Here we go. Simon's book. Oh my goodness. It's eating the dedication for Barbara, but not for long. Late one evening, a young boy began to draw a story about Simon and the scary monster. Oh, so the boy's name isn't Simon. He became drowsy, and instead of finishing the drawing, the boy headed for the comfort of his downy bed, leaving Simon stranded on the page with a big furry beast. As soon as the boy was asleep, a curious sound came from the direction of the drawing table. Boys asleep. First, it was a faint shuffle, then a louder rustle. Uh oh, what's gonna happen? One by one, like caterpillars, the pens crept out of their jar onto the drawing pad. Oh my goodness, they look like worms. Look at that. The bottle of ink followed. Oh my goodness. The pens introduced themselves. They promised to get Simon out of the monstrous predicament he had been drawn into so thoughtlessly. Simon shook their tails. Look, they wrote, hello, Simon, and introduced himself to the ink bottle. Oh my, he fell into the ink bottle with a very messy result. No sooner had Simon cleaned himself than the beast leapt at the foursome. <sighs> the fastest pen drew a hole in the page. They thought it would be too small for the monster to follow through. Hmm. <gasps> but it wasn't. Oh my goodness. They're trying to draw their way out of this. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen? On the next page, the creature chased them up a rocky hill. Oh my, Simon and his friends knew a quick way to get down. They made a circle and he's rolling down, which sounds like fun, but if you look at his face, it doesn't look like he's having very much fun. That's what I hear in his head right now. Oh no, Simon tumbled as the pen spun out of control. The ink bottle hit the ground with a great thud, spilling over one page. And on to the next. Oh my. The ink has teeth. Almost out of energy and ink, Simon and his friends watched as the beast crept toward them through the splatter. Oh, that's the beast coming through the ink. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? perched silently above them, waiting for the right moment to leap. 
Suddenly, it jumped at Simon. But to his surprise, the beast gave him a big sloppy kiss. Oh my goodness. He kissed his shoes right off of Simon. That's funny. The monster was friendly. The foursome collapsed on the beast's back and headed across the page, happy and relieved. Henrietta's chewing on a bone and it's very loud. Henrietta Pussycat. She didn't want to sleep through the story today. That's okay. When they arrived at the last page, the pens drew a soft warm bed and cover using the last drop of ink. Soon after they had been tucked in, Simon and his newfound friend were asleep. Oh my gosh, this is just like the nightmare in my closet, remember? In the end of that book, the nightmare got into bed with him and was a friendly nightmare. Then the ink bottle jiggled off the page like a tired old hermit crab. The pens retired to the comfort of their spacious jar yawned a sigh of relief, and dozed off. <gasps> the boy awoke the next morning fully rested. To his amazement and delight, there was a book on the table where he had left the drawing of Simon and the monster the night before. And that is the same book that you've just finished reading. So they wrote that story for us to read and made this beautiful art. What do you think, Henrietta Pussycat? Do you like the art? Does it appeal to your artistic sensibility? Well, I hope you enjoyed reading Simon's book with me and Henrietta Pussycat. Until next time. See you then. Bye.